Alright, so let's start today by learning how to play the bassoon. So go ahead and start by opening up your case and getting your instrument out. And I'll walk you through it. So first you want to take out your seat strap. Alright, and you're going to put it on the very edge of your chair with the hook on the right. Good job. Okay, next go ahead and grab out the little ring over there and hook it onto the hook. Okay, and then now we're going to grab the base joint, which is the very bottom of the bassoon. So it's the biggest one on the back, or the, the widest one, I guess. And go ahead and set that in between. Yep. And then we'll grab the wing joint, which is the next one, with the little wing on the top. And... What you're going to do is when you put it in, there's, if you look on here, there's a little mark there and a little mark on the bottom there. You're going to match those two together. So go ahead and put that on. Yep. You can use some force. It'll be okay. Yep. And then some bassoons won't have that mark. So what you want to do is look and see where this curve is and see how it curves in and matches along there. You're going to want to match that, those curves together. Okay. So now we're going to grab the base joint, which is the next one, the longest joint on the bassoon. And when you look at this one, you'll see that there are keys on the front and keys on the back. These keys on the back are going to match up with these keys. And also this little metal piece is going to line up right over here so that it doesn't turn in and rip those keys off. So go ahead and set this on the ground. Yep. And switch hands, and go ahead and put that in, being careful not to turn any of the keys or anything. All right, and you can just put your hand right on top and push down. It'll be okay. And then when you look at the top, there's a little key lock, and that key lock will lock up the or that key lock, I guess, joint locker. It'll lock the two together so that they don't shift back and forth. And that'll also help you be able to maneuver things or, or figure out how it's supposed to go in. So next we're going to grab the bell. And on the bell there's only one key, but when we put that together we have to hold that key down so that we can put it on. Alright, and you're lining up. Good. So next go ahead and grab your vocal, which is the little silver piece. I can hold that just in case. And the vocal is the most fragile part of this entire instrument. It's one sheet of metal that's been wrapped all the way around. Um, sometimes you can see a crease on it. If you can see the seam, that's a bad thing because it's coming apart. But you're going to always want to grab it at the strongest point, which is the curve. So when you put it together, you always grab at the top of the curve there. Yep. And then the little vent on the side will match up with this key on here. So go ahead and put that one down in there. You can turn it a little bit, yeah. Okay, and next we're going to grab our reed. So go ahead and take your reed. And what I want you to do is, here I'll hold your bassoon for a second. What I want you to do is I want you to do what's called crowing. So you're going to take your, you're going to put your lips all the way around in between the two little metal brackets, or the two little metal things there. And my computer's about to die. We've got nine more minutes. So next you're going to take that and curl. So go ahead and put that all in your mouth and then you'll just blow. Good, good. So then next what you're going to do is just take it out a little bit more and produce an actual sound on the reed. So about halfway down, yep, and then a little less pressure. Yeah, okay. So here, I'll hold your reed real fast. And what I want you to do is I want you to take your bassoon and match it or put it into the into the ring down there. Is it breaking off that? Yep. Just go ahead and put it all the way up on there. Okay. And then is it about even with your will the buff come to about come right to your face when you're sitting up? Right, John. Okay. So then go ahead and take your read and put your read on. And then if you need to tilt it a little bit, you can tilt it so that you're not turning your head. 
And then the first note that we're going to learn today is an F. So an F would just be what's called the whisper key, which is the very bottom key on your left hand uh, thumb keys. So it'll be your left hand thumb key and the whisper key, and that's it. So nothing else. Okay, so go ahead and just try to play that. Good. Your armature is just a little tight. Loosen up. Don't, you don't have to really do any armature at all. It's hard for a clarinet player. I know. Uh -huh. I know it is. Okay, so our next note we're going to learn, since you can play F, obviously, we're going to learn E. So E is the first, is first finger, so that next first finger. Yep. And then whisper key. So both of those together. And let's go ahead and try E. Good. You'll be able to pull E anywhere, up and down, up and down, up and down. Don't worry about where it hits. It's fine. So the next is D, so which is just one more finger down. Okay. And the whisper key, one, two. Good. So the next one, what do you think it's going to be? Third finger. Third finger. Good. And that is what note? C. Good. So C is whisper key. And one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and try to play C. Good. Try to play C with an attack with your tongue. So use your tongue for the attack. Good. Good. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go through C, D, E, F. And just go, I'll snap you through. So, one, two, ready, and Yep. <laughs> Get your, don't rest your finger, your hand on the bassoon. So just think of it as being completely out. Yeah. Or wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay. So let's try it. Let's go a little bit slower, but let's go from... F, E, D, C. One, two, three, four. Good. You've already done it. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to hot cross buns. And so you already know all the notes in hot cross buns. So let's just start. What note does this start on? E. On E. Good job. So we'll start with E and we'll just play the first two measures. So we won't do the next part here. All right. So I'll count you off. And three and four and one. <laughs> Two measures. So, ba 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 d d d d e d c. Okay, one and two and three and four. Ba 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 Good. That reads really hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do the whole thing, and we'll go so all the way through the whole deal. All right. One, and two, and three, and four. Rest. Good job. Woo